so I want to do a quick video about my Gucci repair experience. I've done several repairs with Louis Vuitton and the experience is really different. So I just want to share my experience and the horror story that kind of happened. Um, but today I actually finally got the bag back and I actually took it out of the box already. But this was the box that it came with. It's the new one. And the bag, which I'm really happy about. It's over here. I know it's probably outdated or whatnot, but I was thinking about actually selling um, my old one. And then having to live a period without it, I really missed it. It's just, I love this color. This specific color is just so neutral, but also because I'm not a pink girl, this is like the perfect combination for me. This is actually a brand new bag that they replaced, and I'll get to the reasons why. It's because of that, um, that was originally not the case, but there was a whole situation. So they ended up kindly uh, replacing it for me after four attempts. So let's just get started to the story. This is the small size. For those of you who don't know, there is a mini size and a medium that's even bigger. At that time, I didn't have a Chanel bag and I really wanted to get the Chanel rectangular mini. So I thought having a bigger size that kind of represented their small slash medium was perfect and I'm really happy with the sizes that I actually ended up with. In the beginning, I loved bringing this bag. This bag matches everything. I mean, it matches the outfit I have right now. And I brought it all around to my travels, to Italy, to London, to Paris, like you name it. And I've noticed that the tabs over here um, on top a little bit in the corners were starting to rub off, like the glazing or the paint. And also I wanted to get one of the handles. I remember fixed as well. There was also glazing rubbing off. And one of the main concerns that I had with the old bag was that for the grommets, there was a random piece of string that came out and I wasn't sure what it is. So I wanted them to just take a look at it because I was really contemplating on cutting off the string, but um, I told myself not to. So I brought it into the store and they were very friendly. On the first visit, they just looked at it, took some photos. It was free of charge even though it passed two years, I believe, but um, they were really nice about it. And they said, yeah, we'll get back to you within two to three weeks, which if you're not familiar with the returns, um, for Louis Vuitton, it takes six months at this point, six to eight months. And two to three weeks is really fast. So actually less than that, in about a week or even five days, they called me and said, oh, great news, we got it, done. Do you wanna come pick it up? So I go to the Fifth Avenue flagship store in New York. And upon looking at it, I realized that they didn't even paint one of the corners or reglaze it or whatever they call. So I was asking a sales see, I was like, mm, this don't look right, does it? And she looked at it too and she's like, oh yeah. And then she was really apologetic and she said, let me um, bring it back and we'll express it for you. And we'll call you back in a week again. So this time it took a little longer than a week or so. And then I got back the second time, and then I realized I didn't even look inside the flap, but the string was still hanging out. So this was a new sales associate. He looked at the comments and he was really apologetic as well, like they're all really nice. And he said, I'm so sorry again, let me bring him back again. And at that time, I was kind of annoyed, but I'd rather just have everything fixed. Um, you know, like they're doing what they can do. So I said, okay, can't. how long will this take? For some reason, it just gets longer and longer. So this time he said, it'll take almost a month um, and we'll get back to you. And I said, okay, and um, gave it back. And then I remember this sweet lady. So she has been my saving grace ever since this happened. Um, her name is Bridget. So if you ever meet her or get to get a phone call with her, um, she's also from the Fifth Avenue store. She's in the repairs area, I believe. So cut to the third, fourth time that I walked into the store. This time I had my boyfriend go with me just because I wanted someone there. And I just really wanted this whole experience to be done at this point. So I walked in and another associate greeted me. She brought the bag. I looked at it. Um, all the corners and everything was fine this time. I opened the bag. I wish I had the old bag to show you for evidence, but I did have photos that I'll put up as well. The string was still there. So at this point, I was really annoyed, um, but not as annoyed yet because, so she called the manager. She was saying, oh yes, I saw all your comments and again, telling me that it's not perfect and I asked her, so what about the string? Because this is 
this time I resent it because the string was still there. And can you like, I, like I don't know if they burn it off or they cut it or something. I'm like, can you see what the solution is? And what she told me was, she took her nail <laughs> and she just like stuffed the string back in. And I'm just thinking like, I could have done that. Then I didn't need to bring it to repair. But basically, that's what she did. And she said, oh yeah, so it's actually nothing. Um, this doesn't ruin the integrity of the bag. These are her exact words. It doesn't ruin the integrity of the bag. All you have to do is just, you know, put it in. Um, like, that's fine. It just, it just stuck out like nothing. And I was like, okay um at that point i just i just wanted my bag back so i was like okay cut to i flipped it over there was a big scratch like i mean like this big um diagonal and i was really confused because if i had noticed a scratch like that on any of my bags i would have ran to the store and asked for if there's any way they could fix it like repair or anything and she started telling me that <laughs> this is hysterical now but i wasn't laughing at that time she ended up telling me that like human veins again these are practically her exact words like human skin um you know their veins just kind of pop out or show over time and in my head i'm thinking i left this bag with you at this point for three weeks and you're telling me within the three week period that i left it with you suddenly a vein appeared and I was very frustrated at this point because she was basically trying to say that um, oh like they didn't notice it there before so they can't say it if I made the scratch um, or you know like if I handed it in it was already scratched or whatnot like but basically that's what they're insinuating and that whole conversation basically led to nowhere I called Bridget and I said I picked up the bag and I don't know if you can help me in any way but I looked at the bag and there was a really big scratch on the bottom and I don't want to name that um, supervisor but she said that this is normal and it came with the bag and I'm just really confused and I would really like some guidance and advice on this. She at that time uh, had a voicemail because I don't think she was working that day. She called me the next day and she was so so nice. She was just like I saw the photos that definitely was not there. So she was confused as well. She was holding the bag and she's like, yeah, I definitely do not remember this scratch or I or you would have mentioned it throughout previous phone calls. I completely agree. And she says she will let the management know and she will get it fixed. So I got the call finally um, from Bridget and she said, hi, I hope you're doing well. I personally examined the bag and it's perfect. I said, great, thank you. I'll come pick it up on the weekend. Five minutes later, she called me again and she said, Hey, actually, so scratch that. We would be giving you a whole new bag. My manager just came and saw that, saw this bag on the table when she was calling me and the manager said, um, actually, just give her a whole new bag. So I was really delighted, um, but I also asked her, I was like, oh, what's the sudden change? And she said, I don't know either. Like the manager just straight up told her to give her a brand new bag, which I'm not complaining. Unfortunately, in the flagship store, there actually wasn't any of these bags available. This is how sweet she is. She knows that some stores, if you order them in, they give you kind of the display ones and she wanted one to be brand new for me. So she ordered, um, I believe from three different stores in New York and got them all shipped to the flagship store, personally examined them and then told me when I was ready. So that took another whole two weeks. I finally yesterday went to the store with my friend this time because I realized my boyfriend was just standing there. He didn't really have much to say or input and I knew if I needed someone as backup, my friend would have been perfect. During the wait, I did get a Samorga organizer and this is the color I got just because I really like matching my organizers to the interior color um, of the bag and since the bag inside is suede, I just really wanted a organizer this time to protect them more and be more careful with it um, and it fits perfectly in there you could wear it like this um, as a shoulder bag or you could so the thing about Gucci bags I realized is that it's really long so you could wear it like this it is really really long or it would be nicer as a crossbody so that's my Gucci repair story. It was definitely a long one, but I'm just glad everything worked out. And if you all ever had to do repairs in the Gucci flagship store in New York, 
definitely ask for Bridget. Um, I think she is always the one that actually calls you to inform me that the bag's ready for pickup. But I'm so happy to have her back. And thank you all for watching. Bye.